My name is Louis Adams, Jr. I've been working for Nunez Seafood for 45 years, and I've seen many things happen, from Katrina all the way to Betsy. And I've uh, been here, seen many shrimps. Right now, it's kind of slow for us right now, from the oil spill that we had in the barn through our oil spill. When we went through the storm, we made it out all right. But I don't know if we're going to make out all right with this oil spill. I think it'll be all right in the long run. But I don't know how long it would take for it to be. Now, I, I couldn't tell you that because I'm not out there to see if they got oil in the Gulf or wherever the oil is at. And I just hope it don't go to nobody. But we just got to see what's going on after. Right now, when I first started here, we have four to five, six hundred boats a day. And now we have three or four a day. Because all the fishermen that went on the job. And I hope it turns out to be all right that oil don't hurt us. I've been taking it good. I can't say nothing, you know, I've been making a living. So all good, our family been good, you know. But besides that, you know, you can't complain, you know. Mr. Nunez, we all work together, you know. We can't say nothing about it, you know. This is the only year right now when we had a good season, it hurt us a little bit. If it wasn't for that, we'd be making, you know, buying plenty of shrimp. But just the oil spill came in, we just got to go on like that, that's all. It's a hard situation to say something about the president. I hope he would lift that embargo off the oil companies. That's about the only thing I could say, you know. About the shrimpers, I don't, I, I couldn't say. It looked like that's not his concern about the bit that oil spill. I see the way I hear him talk a little bit, like he won't get involved with it. But that's something that had to happen from nature. He don't have nothing to do with it, but he's just the president. What he could do? He can't stop it. If you could stop it, he couldn't stop it anyhow. He couldn't stop the oil. The only one could stop the oil is them. How the president could go out there and stop something that he can't stop? If he could stop it, it'd be different. But he can't. I don't believe in the long run, like they say. But I don't, if we have to move or something like this, we have to just move out and, and I don't know. It'll be tough for us. Because that's my living right here. I never had another job for nobody else. I always worked with him. Never did help everybody. But that's a hard situation. We have to move from down here. We just have to make ends meet. Going to getting off from work, going home in my old trusted P-Row. I stay across the bayou on Barrett Louisiana.